Have you ever had a dream where you're in a spaceship and you're wondering where the buttons are and it doesn't start and then all of a sudden it starts moving at the speed of light? <laughs> no. Oh. It seems like I have some explaining to do. The cars of the 60s and 70s just make your heart beat a little faster. As a red-blooded American boy, I wanted in. 42 years later, I had actually amassed a collection. I'm an idea man, so I enlisted a team of folks to restore my cars in ways that are less harmful to the planet. It's almost too nice to mess with. I can't leave it alone. What if I went electric with that? Wait, the Stingray? Hmm, okay. This is a clue, never guess. It's a biodiesel conversion. Correct. <laughs> I think we're gonna have some problems. Bringing him along to negotiate the price of a car, they're not gonna lower the price. Did you recognize either of the guys that you were doing a deal with? Yes. <laughs> Rodney. Rodney? Iron Man, right. We Americans love our cars, and for good reason, I say. What we're doing here is nobody's ever done before. Buckle the hell up. Imagine someone pulling up next to me and saying, hey, bro, does your riv still have the original nail head in it? Sorry, dude, it's a hybrid. Oh, f what? You can bleep that out. I'm what you call a, I'm a gearhead. I'm a grease monkey. Are we sure he's the right guy to be hosting this show? <laughs>